Let's meet a couple of strikers, shall we? It gives a picture of the type of people being caught by the law. So firstly, a third striker. In 2012, the 26-year-old was sentenced to five months home detention and was given his first strike warning for a vicious assault using a piece of wood. In 2014, he was sentenced to three years imprisonment and given his second strike warning for stalking and sexually assaulting a 17-year-old girl. In 2018, he was sentenced to seven years imprisonment for wounding with intent to injure after stabbing a man in the leg while on bail. He was also sentenced to four months imprisonment for domestic violence assaults in the same year. He has 14 previous convictions, including six for violent offending. Prior to the three strikes law, he would have only received jail time of two years and three months. As a result of the three strikes law, he was jailed for seven years. And interestingly, the judge admitted that, I acknowledge that your sentence will be much harsher than I would otherwise have imposed. Meet a second striker. In 2008, before three strikes, he was sentenced to 20 months jail for the nighttime burglary of a 24-year-old woman's home. His first strike offence was another home invasion burglary. He invaded the home of a 68-year-old woman, attacked her, grabbed her by the throat and threatened her and then robbed her. He was in prison for just three years and four months. The parole board released him early, considering he did not yet present an undue risk. Wishful thinking. His second strike was bashing and sexually violating an 87-year-old grandmother in her own home in 2013. Later the same day, he burgled a 73-year-old woman's home with the intention of sexually assaulting her. Now remember, he was on parole at the time of this offending. He is now serving a second strike sentence of 12 years and 9 months imprisonment without the possibility of parole. Without the three strikes law, he would have been eligible for release by the parole board who got it so badly wrong the previous time after just four years and three months. Instead, we are all kept safe for eight more years. And one more second striker. His first strike offence was for an attack on a woman using a knife in, in which he choked and threatened to kill her. And this attack was committed in breach of a protection order. For that offending, he was sentenced to two years, eight months imprisonment. He committed his second strike offence while in prison. He raped a woman while participating in a prison work-to-release program operating outside the prison. He is now serving a nine-year sentence of imprisonment. He had dozens of criminal convictions, many for violence against women. Earlier offending includes beating his pregnant partner so badly she miscarried her twins. And some of his violence involved three other former partners. Under three strikes, he will serve up to six years more than he could without three strikes and women are safe from him because of this. So, to conclude, the three strikes regime is accurately targeting the serious recidivist offenders. As I said, the best and most obvious way to protect the community from repeat violent offenders and from gun violence is to incapacitate the offenders. You can't commit crimes against families and communities if you're in prison. They are effectively being given two chances to stop their violent behaviour. And for many, it's not strike three, it's sometimes strike 17 or strike 29. Go to threestrikeslaw.nz for more information. That's threestrikeslaw.nz.